was uh, something you said earlier, Danny. I was sleepy and inconsiderate bastard. What are you doing at work? Where's Crane? That was just me shooting my mouth off. Yeah. He's getting his leg over, isn't he? Mm. Is an eight! Do that! Oh. <coughs> I want to know, Danny. Viv Reed. Vivian? Look, I only found out because John was off sick once, right? Nobody could find the standby list, so I rang her. She was away in a hotel, rang her on the contact number, Crane answered the phone. Now, every time he shoots off on a conference, you don't see her for dust. Which hotel? Look, why do you want to know? Which hotel? Beresford, uh, Beresford Royale. Beresford Royale, um, it's in London. <laughs> Beresford Royale, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, could you put me through to Vivian Reed's room, please? Hello? 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 Not disturbing you? No! Glad to get away from the snooker. Honestly, he sits there watching that. I swear, I can't tell if he's alive or dead. If that's how he goes, he might not realise for a week. Ooh, nice outfit. Thanks. What? Never mind me what. You what? You never come round here at this time. I do. You're not dressed like that. Oh, I've had the weirdest few days, Phyllis. Oh, good. It's not good. It's a nightmare. Carriage isn't better than yours. It has been my dearest wish, Madeline, to see you go up in the world. I'm too excited to sleep. If you were here, I must let you come. St. Gregory's Hospital. Yeah, this is uh, Dr. Borovitz. We need to get an urgent message to Vivian Reed, surgical business manager. Okay, Dr. Borovitz, I've got that. She's at the Beresford Royal Hotel in London. I've just done something really terrible, Dad. She knows! Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Look, it could be something else. Something innocent. It's addressed to you for me. How can it be innocent? If she knows you're here and I am with you, what other conclusion is there? That is Anna in the know. That's exactly what she'd do. Look. Oh, God, I don't believe this is happening. Well, it'll destroy her, you know? It'll destroy her. What do you want me to say? Uh... Just go into the other room, would you please? What? I might need to speak to her. Just go into the other room, please, Vivian. <sighs> no, 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 no. <laughs> of course I said no. And he's how old? Oh, 30-ish. Not a toad. Oh, no, he's very attractive. Footballer. No, boxer type. What possessed you? Oh, you don't mean that, Phyllis. You don't. There's no way on this earth you'd trust a man who'd made up his mind that quickly. You'd run a mile. Would I? I mean, I can sit in the office and get excited by the remote prospect, but... I see. I mean, he's standing there coming out with all this stuff. I mean, it's unbalancing. 
He's got me checking myself, wondering what on earth I did to... Well, I am flattered. Oh, good. You're beginning to sound dead from the parting down. Do I ever seem vulnerable to you? In your dreams. So why has he picked on me? How much older? He's about 40 odd. Do you love her? Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, if I was him and you did that to me, I'd kill you. If I was her and you did that to me, I'd wring your bloody neck. But would you just turn your back on her if you loved her that much, Dad? It hangs well on you, by the way. The suit. Will you see him again? Oh, only because of who he is and what he does for a living? Hmm, probably. What do you do if he just loses interest? He walks away tonight and that's the end of it. And the next time you see him, he cuts you dead because you hurt him. And you have to answer that honestly. I'd miss it. Miss the extremes of it, but I wouldn't regret it. Oh. Look, it's taken me a long time to build what I've got. This is the first time we've actually been able to spend time together. I wasn't handed this marriage on a plate, Phyllis. And would you jeopardize it all for a man 15 years younger who looks like a boxer? <laughs> you have to answer that honestly. I'm off up. Night, Anna. Night, Frederick. Honestly, I'd take him somewhere really private, strip us both to the pink. I'll ask you again when you're sober. Mm, be prepared for a shock. And if you hadn't thought twice about it, you wouldn't be asking me that question. I'm sorry, we can't get to the phone at the moment. If you'd like to leave a message, leave your name and number after the tone. Anna, Anna, it's me. I'm coming home. I'm in a taxi. I'm on the way home. Darling, please, if you're there, pick up the phone. I can't do it like this, please. Look, all... All I can think of to say is... I'm sorry. I don't know how. I'm just... I'm just sorry. Please don't do anything until I get there. And if there's any kind of justification, if there's any kind of defence for me at all. Listen, I spend about ten hours a day giving orders, being in charge all day, every day. I have to stay above it all. She's bossy. She gives the orders. She takes control. It, 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 she, she, she's, she's not as pretty as you are. She's not as bright as you are. Look, I swear to you now, Anna, there is no question whatsoever of her overshadowing what you mean to me. It, Obviously, I will do anything you want to put things right. There is no question whatsoever that it's over. Absolutely over. You, you, you're the last, you are the last person in the world I would want to hurt. I, I, I'm just so ashamed. Please don't leave me. I truly hope you can believe that. I truly hope you can forgive me because I love you. I love you. I'm sorry, we can't get to the phone at the moment. If you'd like to leave a message, leave your name and number after the tone. Anna, it's me. We've just passed Keel services. I'll just be another half an hour. Just please be there.
put the spare set through the letterbox when you've finished. Mr. Springer, yeah. Mr. Springer, hello. Am I needed or not? Five, four, three, two. It's me. Who's me? How many me's do you know? Do you know the four feathers in Presbury? Uh, I don't know. Who's in it? It's a hotel. I'll be there in half an hour. Take your clothes off, please. Anna, we don't need to do this. I just want to talk. What if I don't want to listen? Take your clothes off, please. Do I seem vulnerable to you? I think you've picked a really bad time to ask. <laughs> you look perfect. <laughs> 